In this video I'm going to be making some simple custom sized picture frames for my brother. He sent to me the dimensions of the items that he wanted to frame and he also wanted all of the frames spray painted black which was a good thing because it meant that I could use up lots of spare random scraps of wood that I had in the workshop because none of the wood needed to match. I did film this one a few months ago so if you're a regular viewer you might notice that the workshop looks a little bit different. Now let's jump back in time and get on with the build. I've raided my scrap pile and I've got quite a few pieces of wood that are over an inch thick so I'm going to cut all of these to be one inch square on the table saw and I'll use those pieces to make the frames. Once I had lots of one inch square lengths of wood, I set my table saw fence to nine millimeters and my blade height to 12 millimeters. The kerf of my blade is three millimeters, so with these settings, I could cut a 12 millimeter by 12 millimeter rebate on each length of wood. Then I cut a 45 degree angle on one end of each length of wood at the mitre station. Now all of the pieces look like this, flat on one end and a 45 degree on the other. The first frame that I need to make is for a picture that is 410 by 470 millimeters. I will first cut the 410 millimeter pieces and I want to measure the 410 millimeters from this point here. So I'll line that up. So that's at 410 now, and at the other end I'll make a mark. Then I'll use a speed square to extend that 45 degree mark. I've adjusted the bed of my mitre saw to cut at 45 degrees to match the angle that I've just marked up. Then I'll line up the mark I've just made with the blade, and I'll add a stop block at the other end which will help me get consistent cuts as I need to cut two of these pieces at the same length. And now I can mark up the 470 millimeter piece in the same way as I did before. And I'll use the same trick again to line up the blade with the mark that I've made. And I've set up the stop block again so that I can cut two pieces that are exactly the same length. I'm going to use glue and tape to hold this together. Then I'll check that the frame is square before firing in a couple of brad nails. And now I can let that dry. Once the glue had dried, I removed the masking tape and applied some filler to the nail holes. And when the filler had dried, I gave each frame a sanding with my random orbit sander. And then the mitre joints looked really nice and tight. Next I set up a makeshift spray booth in my shop using an old curtain. I used some cheap gloss black spray paint, which I bought in my local pound shop to spray the frames. I gave each frame two coats of the paint and I think I used two or three cans in total. And they looked pretty good once sprayed. You could still see the wood grain in the light which I thought was quite nice. 
I have quite a few pieces of this salvaged Perspex which came from an old piece of office furniture. They are around 6mm thick, which is much thicker than is needed for this project, but it's what I had so that's what I used. I could cut this to the size of each frame at the table saw to fit within the rebate joint. Then I could cut backing boards for the frames for which I used thin salvaged pieces of hardboard. And to hold everything in place, I used these glazier pins, which I purchased from Amazon. And these can just be pushed into the softwood frames using a screwdriver. That was the frames finished, my brother was pretty happy with them. Other than the spray paint and the glazier pins, everything else was salvaged wood and scrap material. So in total, I probably spent less than £5 making all of these frames. <laughs> 